August 26, 1920, the 19th Amendment became law. The right of citizens to vote shall not be denied on account of sex. But many Native Americans were not considered citizens. No citizenship, no vote. Marie Louise Botanou Baldwin of North Dakota's Turtle Mountain Band of Chippewa fought for her people's rights in Washington, D.C. In 1912, at the age of 49, she entered law school and graduated in two years, becoming one of the first Native American women to graduate from law school. For D.C.'s 1913 suffrage parade, Baldwin was asked to arrange some sort of float representing Native American women. She declined. Instead, Baldwin marched with a team of other women lawyers. She argued that Indian women were among the first suffragists. Women in certain Native American tribes had voting rights within their communities long before the 19th Amendment. Baldwin met with President Woodrow Wilson, testified before Congress, and became a spokesperson for the Society of American Indians. Four years after the 19th Amendment passed, Congress granted citizenship to all Native American women and men in 1924. But not all states allowed Native Americans to vote. Some could not vote until well into the second half of the 20th century. So Native American lawyers like Baldwin continued to fight for their people's rights. <laughs>